Welcome back to our studio. I'm Brad Griffith. This is Craft Stick Crafts. Please subscribe if you like what you see. Today we're going to do a show and tell how to make our spoons. So first thing you want, well, I'll give you a show. So here's some of the spoons. These are coffee stir sticks for the most part. These were uh, tongue depressors. There's a little mirror. You get me in the shot there somewhere. Uh, a little magnet. So first thing you want to do is uh, soak your craft wood. I always have different sizes and shapes going. You just soak popsicle sticks in water. Um, you can see some of them been in the water a little bit longer than others. They start to turn dark. Don't worry about that. So we've soaked our coffee stir sticks overnight. I would typically dry this off, but for shortening the video, I'm going to ignore drying each of them off. So as a group, you're going to um, bend them around an object. You can certainly do a brush handle. But for ease sake, I'm going to steady. There we go. I'm going to bend them around a, a dowel. So place your finger there. And then simply bend the group. And you want them to, to touch the best you can at the end. Or your spoon will be kind of lopsided with more of the material going this way. Uh, once you've got them bent, then take a rubber band. Oops, tilt the best you can. And lock those in place. So now you want to put them in front of a... I wouldn't put them in the oven to dry or anything weird. Just put them out in the windowsill. Put them of your car, the house, put them in front of the um, air vents for heat and let them dry. They're going to take as a group like this, especially since I didn't dry them off, it's going to take about two days for them to really cure. From this point, what you want to do now, they're dry and you want to um, do a separate kind of rubber band setup, whereas this one reached both sides. You want to band these together individually because what you're going to do is you're going to fan these out like that to create the spoon shape. And I would probably do a little better spacing if I could see through the camera lens a little bit better. But once you get that fanned out, then you're going to take some wood glue and spread it inside here. You'll never be able to put glue between all of the sticks and with the rubber bands right there you're going to have to do this in two sets so once this gets coated in glue inside and outside what you're doing is you're forcing the glue in the cracks once this set is done do it maybe two or three times. Then you can take the rubber bands off and do this set with the glue. From that point, once it's all dry, you create your, your spoon bottom. And this is just different size craft sticks to create the bottom and you glue up like in this case, you'd glue up this bottom set. 
and then attached got this kind of ass backwards. Then you'd attach the spoon. And I would attach several different kinds of different sizes and layers. And you can be creative and taper them out. You could cut and chisel or saw and sand, whatever kind of shape here you wanted to. But it does take patience. You coat this, both sides, let it dry, maybe two or three times, take the rubber bands off. This should be solid. And then coat this section. So that's uh, the spoons. I'm hoping that that'll get you going in the right direction. This will probably be the only video of this. Um, I'll go on to other show and tells. As you can see, I, I have a few things to show you. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe if you like. Bye.